Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can start using the studio or stud.io to import your Lego models into Blender. Now in the description I'll provide download links for Windows. If you are on Linux like I am, I'll provide a download link to Lutris so that you can launch Studio from there. Now, this is the welcome page for Studio. I'm going to create new. And just for just for simplicity, I want to be demoing with, with one single brick. Now, to export it, go under File, Export As, and pick Collada. Now, when you see Options, The ones I recommend do not include a logo, clockwise and right-handed. Now, once you once you export it, go ahead and pick where where you want to save it, give it a name, and now I'm going to show you how to bring it into Blender. Inside Blender, to import your model, go under File, Import, and select Collada. Now, after you navigate to your model. Uh, you can import it and what you'll see in your top right corner under a collection The camera node the two light nodes You select them and hit X to delete them and something else that you'll notice is that is that your shading looks really really weird and Some ways that we could avoid this um, the easiest is during the import, there, there's an option that says custom normals. Uncheck the box and you import it that way. There you, you would have seen the original color. Uh, but for the rest of us who imported it with the default settings, this is fine. What, what you do is underneath the screen triangle where it says data, select it. There's a tab, geometry data. Open that. And you select clear custom split normals data and there you can see it looks it looks more like a model and now and now something else i like to do is to recenter the object and so i'm going to drag and select the location send them all to zero yes you could have reset the location done the same thing and then something else is as housekeeping measures um, here I'm demonstrating one object. Select it. You notice you notice that this this object is is actually underneath two empties. We don't really need that, so I'm gonna hit Alt P, clear and keep transformation. So we'll reset the location again. For the rotation, this is upside down, so hit. Now we're rotating this on the x-axis, minus 90. I mean, granted, you could have undid it this way. You reset the rotation like this. Now we're rotating on the x-axis by 90 degrees. That's one. That's another way you can do it. And you can move it up to where you like it. I like mine centered. Now we're going to go inside edit mode. And I, I want to show you this. Uh, in edge mode, I'm going to hit L to select linked, and, and you notice that only, only part of it got selected, and that's because when we exported it, it came, it came in separate pieces, and actually more separate pieces than, than, than we would have liked. So if I hit so, so if I grab this, you'll notice that this piece isn't even connected to this piece here. Uh, to fix that, I'm going to go, in, go to Vertex Select, select everything, and it's merged by distance. If your object, for some reason, still has overlapping vertices that are obvious to you, or if you, or if you discover them later on, under this Merge by Distance, you can turn this number up a little bit. And and this is a simple example. There, um, these vertices are essentially right on top of each other, so they're easy to delete. 
Uh, and then I had to clean this up. If if you can get a quad just within reason, this model is already usable. It's usable as is already. Uh, but I like to clean up the quads. Um, take Control L to select this piece. Shift H, and now we're just working with with uh, with this object with, with, with the, without the set on top. And you select all the diagonals that you don't want, and and from here you you can hit X and dissolve the edges. And you can see that this is already much better. I'm going to hit Alt H to bring back the uh, to bring back the stud up here. And now, now I'm to clean this one up. This is already selected. Shift H will hide hide everything but this. Um, and then for the studs, what I recommend is um, you select the X-ray display option, so you can select the back. You highlight all the all the edges here, delete them, and and then you select the two edge loops using Alt Select, uh, Control E, bridge edge loops, and you may need to recalculate the normals. There, now the, now the chain looks a lot better. Alt H to bring back everything. We'll turn off the X-ray select. Back into optic mode. I mean, yes, we can smooth this out, and hit the auto smooth option. And there, there we have a clean up model. As far as, far as uh, materials go, um, sure we can go with solid white. The X val value for solid white is is all Fs, or you can. Or you can go to RGB and make everything one. Uh, it's a good idea to use nodes, or, um, and then for the roughness, make it look more more like a Lego material. Uh, turn turn down the roughness, and if you want this to re to reflect in your viewport port display to make it to make it more distinct from other shapes, uh, you can match the color with what you have in the materials, and it can also match the roughness. So, so there we have the basics on on uh, how you can get started with putting your Lego models from Studio or dot or stud .io into Blender. If you found it useful, do leave a like, and um, and if there's anything that that you would like to see more of, let me know in the comments, and and uh, and that that'll that'll help with getting more videos to your likings. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.